Hi, hello, welcome to Spell Day. We're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5 EPHB plus 3. Those plus 3 spells are homebrew spells. We're at plus 1 at the moment. You can back in the playlist to find it. Today's spell is mislead. Fifth level illusion, casting time of one action, range of self, components somatic, duration, concentration, up to one hour. You can become invisible at the same time that an illusionary double of you appears where you are standing. The double lasts for the duration, but the invisibility ends if you attack or cast a spell. You can use your action to move your illusion double up to twice your speed and make it gesture, speak, and behave in whatever way you choose. You can see through its eyes and hear through its ears as if you were located where it is. On each of your turns, as a bonus action, you can switch from using its senses to using your own or back again. While you are using its senses, you are blinded and deafened in regards to your own surroundings. So a thing to note is that there's no range limit on how far it can travel. Now yes, there's the limit of the time, but just like a lot of other spells we brought up, if you have teleport or some other means of transportation very quickly at a distance, you can set this up and then get out of there. There. <laughs> get out of there. So let's say it's a bit dodgy, or this base is having a bit of an issue. Well, you cast this, walk out of the room, cast teleport, you're somewhere else, but you're still seeing through its senses and able to talk and converse. So when the meeting goes poorly, they're not there. They move their blades through it, they attack it, and it just seems like an illusion. However, uh, it does not add in any sense of investigation check. It doesn't say that's tactile, doesn't mention anything about smell, but it also doesn't, hmm. So can it pick things up? Can it actually interact? If someone tries to hit it, does it still, I mean, it can react the way you want it to, so I guess it can try and impede and behave the way everything else is. And also, you only have to use your bonus action to look in through its senses. Can you do, can you have it act the way you want, like programmed or just passively? That's a strange one. But in that sense of, when would a player actually use that? When would a player need to be alone and then book it without just abandoning the whole party? Well, it's not for the players, it's for a villain. To have their monologue to speak with the adventurers that by the time the adventurers actually figure out its illusion or try to stab it and it just laughs, villain's already halfway across the country. Or on a different continent. Different plane, even. Because it doesn't say you can't do this through planes. You just have to hold concentration. Now, it is only a range of self, so it's in the space you're standing, so they had to physically be there at the time of casting, which only makes that BBG presentation burn even more, because they were how they were close. They were close to the adventures, or they were just here. But the entire time they were talking to this illusion, they were booking it. Now the issue is you don't really have access to your totality of senses. So in two cases, either the villain or whoever's using this is entirely sticking through and staying in that position. They have minions or other aids to guide them away. Or that's one of the gives that it's an illusion, is occasionally they're not paying attention to stuff that's going on in the room or they're only just giving a generic monologue and not responding to the players, which might be seen as just ego, but in reality, it's just because the villain's not actually paying attention to what's going on in there. Not to mention any kind of like pickpocketing, uh, deception, maneuvering. I mean, this can still be used by a player. But I just see this being used by, because it's fifth level, not just everyone in a general fantasy setting, but you know, BBEG, big bad evil guy. It's a fun one, that's for sure. Also just the fact of, casting that and walking away. You can also trick things to trigger early, like a dragon's breath trying to attack you, or setting up and triggering an ambush ahead of time. The issue is you could do that with other illusion spells. I mean, Major Image also allows that. Yes, only up to a range of 120 feet, where this one doesn't have that range just as far as it can travel up to twice your speed for an hour. And again, this one doesn't tire. But, eh, debatable on its actual utility in that sense. This is more setting up the villain appearing monologuing, like, oh no, it wasn't the villain the, the entire time! And they were invisible, or sometimes they were even in the room, but because it makes you invisible, they walked out at that time. So for half the time, it was the villain, the other half, it was just an illusion. This is more just set up for that trope. It, or I guess trope? Set up for that scenario. Uh, less, less for the player's hands, but you could get creative with it, you can get funky. 6 out of 10, just because it's actual utility. Eh, 5 out of 10? 4 out of 10? 4 out of 10, just because it's a bit niche and its actual utility is debatable compared to other lower level illusion spells and other spells. But if it's a nice trope, general theme, and if you're, again, most illusion, if you're creative with it, you can get away with a lot of stuff.